Hello again, lovers. Bill Weir, ABC News Nightline, and this could be big. It's an idea that literally flips our concept of skyscrapers upside down. It's called the Earth Scraper, an inverted pyramid designed to go nearly a thousand feet down and hold a hundred thousand people in apartments and offices, stores, and a museum. It's a novel solution around a law that bans buildings higher than eight stories in the crowded historic center of Mexico City. So in the search for space, some ambitious architects want to turn that country's biggest public square into suspended glass, a floor to hold the crowds who come to celebrate outside the National Palace, but also a ceiling to allow sunlight to filter down to the workers below. Going subterranean seems to be a hot idea these days. There's also this plan to turn an abandoned New York City trolley station into a utopian underground park using fiber optic cables to create remote sunlight. But subway depth is one thing. Going 65 stories down raises so many questions. So I had to Skype Earthscraper's architect Esteban Suarez to find out more. What about groundwater? Because isn't there a, a deep lake underneath Mexico City? We can turn that into our advantage and we can use that water incorporated in a, in a system, in a hydraulic system inside of the building through a, a, a water generator, we can, we can turn it into energy and we can transmit all this water through the perimeter of the building and uh, use it in the advantage of the earth scraper. And if you're at the bottom and there's a fire, how do you get out? In a skyscraper, the, the obvious solution is just to go down through the stairs, but here you have to go up so we're thinking about having these emergency elevators where you can just go in inside and they can take you up right to the surface. A lot of details to work out there. So what do you think? Would you live, work, or shop 50 stories below the surface of the earth? I'm at Bill Weir ABC on Twitter. And while you're there, send me your idea for innovation. And we'll see you next week on This Could Be Big.